Well, now we come to the finished article. We looked in the earlier part of the video at the picture before it was restored and before most of the work had gone on. And you can see on the screen here uh, the photograph of how it was when it started out. And we're now at the stage where we can reveal how it is as the finished item. So here we are, sitting beside me in rejuvenated and conserved state, uh, is the wonderful Countess of Arlington. Um, now we've had all the cleaning, uh, the minor bits of restoration done, the research work done, the frame has been repaired, uh, and she is in wonderful original condition. As you can see, the skin tones are so much brighter. They're just uh, like porcelain now. If you look through here, this very, very smooth texture to the skin. Normally with a picture of this age, we're looking at about 300 years ago that this was painted. They have to be rebacked, which is where uh, the original canvas here at the front is taken and another canvas is put behind it. We managed to avoid that in this particular instance. There are very few pictures of this date which uh, are unlined like this picture is. So the canvas on the back is the canvas you see here and uh, it's in remarkable condition. Our restorer has done a fantastic job. You will have noticed in the earlier part of the video that there was a very pronounced crinkling right across the surface uh, of the picture and some very strong black cracks that went right the way through it. The black cracks are still there, but uh, we'll see in a second when we do a close-up, but they're very, very much reduced. Now, do these cracks actually mean that the picture's less valuable because it's cracked? Well, it's not like a piece of porcelain. If this beautiful cracking or crackler as we call it isn't here we are suspicious because it usually means that the painting has had to be repainted or someone's painted them all out which is not the case in this the originality of this picture because the picture was so beautiful and um, original in the first place we needed to keep that uh, right the way through so this is what our restorer has done um, he has managed to clean it beautifully, remove some later uh, overpaint. You'll notice in the earlier section that there were uh, some dark marks showing here, which almost looked as if they were re repaired tears. They weren't, in fact. They um, were repainted small areas where somebody later on had decided that a bit of an accent would be good on one part or another. We've removed all that, and what we have now is a very, very original piece of painting. This incredible blue, um, which I think looked green in the, in the earlier video. And now she looks absolutely fantastic. Um, one of the main things that's been going on behind the scenes whilst the conservation of the piece has been going on uh, has also been the research work. We know who she is. We had some ideas, as we said at the beginning of the video, uh, as to who um, painted it. But a lot of research work has had to go on since. And uh, that has now been done. Many hours of work there. Um, and also the frame, which you'll remember from earlier in the video, is it was really very, very grubby. We've had it cleaned. We've had to have this section regilded back in gold leaf again. Um, although these, these shells were a later addition, um, we actually thought it quite suited, so we didn't take them off. This would have just been a plain channel down here. And although they are a bit later, uh, we thought it suited the picture quite well. So we were talking about the work that uh, James, our researcher, has been doing on this to try and nail down the artist. And in actual fact, when we bought it, we hoped it was a smaller work by Nella. And when it was dirty, uh, it looked very much like it could be 
a work by Nella. In fact, although it's based on a composition that Nella did and a painting that Nella did of uh, the Countess, um, it's not by Nella. It turns out that this is by an artist called Enoch Zeman, or Enoch Zeman II, to give him his full title. Uh, the skin tones, the way that it's constructed, the colours are higher in tone than we would get if this was by Nella. Uh, the date is early uh, 18th century. Um, the Countess would have been a little older at this time, but she was renowned as the most beautiful woman at court uh, in the day. And it's not unusual at all for someone to have themselves painted uh, another version for another member of the family uh, of when they were a little bit younger. Uh, she remained a great beauty until the end of her life um, and uh, was always commented as being a remarkably handsome woman. Um, so we have uh, a painter now for this, uh, not who we originally thought, uh, but still a beautiful example of uh, his work, of his earlier work. Seaman went on to be uh, court painter to George I and to George II, in fact. A lot of his later portraits don't tend to have quite the um, character or depth of quality in the face that this one has. The earlier ones, when he's painting very much in the style of Sir Godfrey Nella, who was his big influence, um, are tend to be rather more finely finished. Mm -hmm.